this was a way for us to give back to them and hopefully they saw us as also people that cared. I would be going into the hotels to make contact with women who were escorting and in the business of prostitution and being human trafficked. And when I was making contact with them, I noticed that, there, that a lot of them had kids and they were stuck in that lifestyle so that they could provide for their children. Um, and I just, I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I couldn't walk away and see that these kids were there and they didn't have basic needs. After they saw that we really were there just to help and we were there just to register their kids and just to give them things and services, all of a sudden it was like a switch was turned and they were really appreciative and um, really saw that we weren't just people that go out and arrest folks. We we're also there to help folks because if I don't ever have to do another case again where a woman has been prostituted or human trafficked. That's a good day for me. I don't think people understood how much human trafficking and homelessness and poverty we have here in Madison. And so when people started realizing that it was there, they just wanted to do whatever they could and they opened up their hearts and their checkbooks and their closets and they donated. It's just been an overwhelming success and I think they all realize that part of the way to stop the cycle of homelessness is to make sure that these kids are in school and getting the education that they need and able to get that start in life so that they can hopefully break that cycle. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know how to say thank you without crying.